so um, I'm Garrett Peterson, and I uh, went to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, graduated in 2015, and I studied mathematics there, uh, and with the intent of becoming a high school teacher. And so the last three years I've been teaching pre-calculus statistics, um, some calculus as well, to high school students, and I found out about this program through working as an intern ship at SAS where I developed curriculum materials and they mentioned the Institute and I honestly just started applying without any real intent to apply um, and then looked more into it and thought wow this is exactly what I would want to do so um, just how the, um, the practicum project and every uh, thing was organized into personalization and teamwork so uh, that's how I ended up here and my name is Greg McElveen. Um, I'm from this area, but I always give the caveat that I was raised in California. Um, I went to school at University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I graduated in 2001, and then I got sucked into retail. Um, so I've been in retail for the past 15 years or so. Um, I worked for Target as a manager for Target for seven, eight years, um, and then I switched over and went to Gap Inc. and uh, worked for Gap and then Banana Republic. Um, so I've been with Banana Republic for the last um, eight years. Um, I, um, I was looking for a change, and um, I love the data analysis part of my job, and uh, started researching programs and found State's program to be perfect um, the 10 months um, in and out, um, the job placement uh, record perfect, um, so just happy to be here. <laughs> well, according to the um, Clifton Strengths Assessment, we're twins. And uh, so they gave you five of your top strengths. And, and correct me if I miss anything. Uh, we uh, are restorative, uh, we like context, uh, relator, analytical, which I was glad to hear that, especially if I'm in an analytics program. And uh, blanking on the learner. Learner. Yeah. Good. We like to learn. So. Um, and I guess we can uh, kind of go back and forth or so. Uh, one of the, um, from what I got from uh, restorative is that we like problem solving. If there's something that's wrong, we find a thrill in trying to find the solution. Uh, even if some people might get stuck, we find that exciting because it's even more of a challenge. Uh, so hearing everything about the program, I'm glad that that's one of uh, according to this assessment, one of my strengths, because I'm sure that that's something in data science that I'm going to come across very frequently. Um, but yeah, I've always loved puzzles, uh, and ones that are particularly hard I find ex uh, especially exciting. Um, so Learner was another one, and um, that one particularly, um, uh, that one I, I really related to. Um, ever since I was a kid, I've, I've loved to learn. I'm going to date myself, but I used to just go into, uh, we had an encyclopedia uh, library, and I used to just read encyclopedias just because I, I, I love to, to learn new information. Um, so I was glad to see that on there. Um, uh, the other one that really I related to, analytical, um, because I, I love to analyze, especially when it comes to numbers. Um, and uh, again, I was glad to see that because yeah. we are in an analytical, mm -hmm. analytical program. Um, but it was fun. It was fun taking the assessment um, because you don't know how the answers to your questions are gonna are gonna play out. And I would answer a question and kind of be unsure. Um, so seeing the results, it actually all worked itself out. So I, I feel like what what my what my strengths truly are. Yeah. I feel like it was pretty accurate uh, when I saw analytical uh, as well because it, one of the things it was describing is you always want to understand why, you know, show me why you're right and I need to see the proof. And that's something that I really emphasized to my students for several years. I said, I don't care if you memorize this formula, I want you to understand what the purpose of it is. So maybe the 
the teaching has rubbed off on me a little bit and I'm sure has prepared me in ways that if I had not taught mathematics, I wouldn't be as prepared coming into this program. So uh, it's not the trajectory I had envisioned, but it's one that I'm very glad I took that path down uh, education. And um, as a relator, and I, I just really started thinking about this, we have very different jobs, but I worked with a lot of high school students, a lot of high school and early college, um, and I was pretty much a teacher um, in, in the role that I had, and so I think relating um, and relating to customers, but relating to, to your team was a big part of what I did, and I'm sure what, um, what uh, Gare had to do as, as well. And uh, from what I also gathered from Relator, we really value one-on-one -on -one relationships and we have, a f uh, or at least this is definitely true for me, that uh, I have a, you know, not a ton of friends, but the friends I have, I really make sure that those are deep and meaningful relationships. And that's kind of how I would prefer it. Uh, I remember in college thinking, yeah, I know a lot of these people I'm never going to see again, so I didn't put in too much effort into um, those relationships because I wanted to put all the effort into ones that would last and having and I don't know if this is true for Greg as well but um, it is yep. <laughs> <laughs> we're twins, really are twins. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm the exact same mm -hmm. way I'm the exact same way yeah, yeah. Um, I think the last one was context and context of uh, make uh, people that are more contextual like to look back and see okay like well what are the facts and uh, how did we get here? And that's something I try to use in teaching all the time is try and say, okay, like that lesson didn't go well, what could I have done better to improve? And I've also, and I just found this out about Greg too, is that we're both pretty fascinated in history. I took a lot of religion classes and a lot of uh, classical classes like Latin and Greek in college. And um, I always love looking at the past and trying to see, okay, what, how did I get here into this particular place? Yeah. Um I minored in history, and um, I love historical documentaries. I, I just love learning about where we've come from, and it's crazy to see um, how a lot of the things that we've dealt with in the past we're dealing with still, and you can learn a lot from where we've been and, and apply that to current situations. Um, so context really related me as well. That, that resonated with me. Um, so I found a kindred spirit here. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> and the probability of this happening is like what, one in, one in 270,000 or something? So, I don't know, meant to be? Yeah. 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 <laughs>, again, like, it's kind of creepy. Um, <laughs> we, uh, I, I don't have a particular and, like, a specific job that I had in mind. I remember before committing to this program, like, is that okay? Like, you know, can I come in without a, a job specifically that I want to do? And I was encouraged and said that that's fine, you come in with an open mind. So, uh, Anything in consulting would be great. I really like working in teams. Uh, honestly, the dream job would be to work for some uh, NBA basketball team and get to be in their analytics department. I love sports. I'm a pretty competitive person. I, uh, so getting to be a part of a team in that aspect would be truly just like a childhood dream. <laughs> um, I would just get to be five years old uh, in my job, and that would be great. I feel like I'm listening to myself. Um, <laughs> I um, I also am completely open. So um, I've been in retail. I, I I would rather not stay in retail, but I'm even open to retail analytics. Um, but um, consulting is something that I've always thought would be really cool to do. My dad was a consultant um, for a while, and and um, he got to travel a lot, see a lot of cool things and that's always been something that I've kind of wanted to try um, but my dream job is also working for a sports team <laughs> like no joke um, a soccer team specifically I'm a huge soccer player so um, I, I would love to do that but I'm open to whatever this program has to show me